C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 4 simple equations page 86 exercise 4.2 1 give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation a x minus 1 is equal to 0 b x plus 1 is equal to 0 c x minus 1 is equal to 5 d x plus 6 is equal to 2. e. y minus 4 is equal to minus 7. f. y minus 4 is equal to 4. g. y plus 4 is equal to 4. h. y plus 4 is equal to Minus 4. 2. Give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. A. 3L is equal to 42. B. B upon 2 is equal to 6. C b upon 7 is equal to 4 d 4x is equal to 25 e 8y is equal to 36 f z upon 3 is equal to 5 upon 4 g a upon 5 is equal to 7 upon 15. H. 20 T is equal to minus 10. 3. Give the steps you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. A. 3 N minus 2 is equal to 46. B. 5m plus 7 is equal to 17. C. 20p upon 3 is equal to 40. D. 3p upon 10 is equal to 6. 4. Solve the following equations. A. 10p is equal to 100 b 10 p plus 10 is equal to 100 c p upon 4 is equal to 5 d minus p upon 3 is equal to 5 e 3 p upon 4 is equal to 6 f 3 s is equal to minus 9 g 3 s plus 12 is equal to 0 h 3 s is equal to 0 i 2 q is equal to 6 j 2 q minus 6 is equal to 0 K. 2Q plus 6 is equal to 0. L. 2Q plus 6 is equal to 12. 4.5. More equations. Let us practice solving some more equations. While solving these equations, we shall learn about transposing a number, that is, moving it 
from one side to the other. We can transpose a number instead of adding or subtracting it from both sides of the equation. Example 6. Solve. 12p minus 5 is equal to 25. Equation 4.12. Solution. Adding 5 on both sides of the equation. 12p minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 25 plus 5 or 12p is equal to 30. Dividing both sides by 12. 12p upon 12 is equal to 30 upon 12 or p is equal to 5 upon 2. Check. Putting p is equal to 5 upon 2 in the LHS of equation 4.12, LHS is equal to 12 multiplied by 5 upon 2 minus 5, which is equal to 6 multiplied by 5 minus 5, which is equal to 30 minus 5, which is equal to 25, which is equal to RHS. Note, adding 5 to both sides is the same as changing side of minus 5. 12P minus 5 is equal to 25. 12P is equal to 25 plus 5. Changing side is called transposing. While transposing a number, we change its sign. Page 87 As we have seen, while solving equations, one commonly used operation is adding or subtracting the same number on both sides of the equation. Transposing a number, that is, changing the side of the number, is the same as adding or subtracting the number from both sides. In doing so, the sign of the number has to be changed. What applies to numbers also applies to expressions. Let us take two more examples of transposing, adding or subtracting on both sides. 1. 3p minus 10 is equal to 5. Add 10 to both sides. 3p minus 10 plus 10 is equal to 5 plus 10 or 3p is equal to 15. 2. 5x plus 12 is equal to 27. Subtract 12 from both sides. 5x plus 12 minus 12 is equal to 27 minus 12. Or 5x is equal to 15. Transposing 1. 3p minus 10 is equal to 5. Transpose minus 10 from LHS to RHS. On transposing, minus 10 becomes plus 10. 3P is equal to 5 plus 10 or 3P is equal to 15. 2. 5X plus 12 is equal to 27. Transposing plus 12. On transposing, plus 12 becomes minus 12. 5x is equal to 27 minus 12. Or 
5x is equal to 15. We shall now solve two more equations. As you can see, they involve brackets which have to be solved before proceeding. Example 7. Solve a. 4 multiplied by, within brackets, m plus 3 is equal to 18. b. Minus 2 multiplied by, within brackets, x plus 3 is equal to 8. Solution a. 4 within brackets, m plus 3 is equal to 18. Let us divide both the sides by 4. This will remove the brackets in the LHS. We get m plus 3 is equal to 18 divided by 4 or m plus 3 is equal to 9 upon 2 or m is equal to 9 upon 2 minus 3 transposing 3 to RHS or m is equal to 3 upon 2 required solution as 9 upon 2 minus 3 is equal to 9 upon 2 minus 6 upon 2 which is 3 upon 2 check LHS is equal to 4 multiplied by within brackets 3 upon 2 plus 3 which is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 upon 2 plus 4 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4 multiplied by 3. Put m is equal to 3 upon 2, which is equal to 6 plus 12, which is equal to 18, which is equal to RHS. b. Minus 2 multiplied by, within brackets, x plus 3, is equal to 8. We divide both sides by minus 2 so as to remove the brackets in the LHS. We get x plus 3 is equal to minus 8 upon 2 or x plus 3 is equal to minus 4. That is x is equal to minus 4 minus 3, transposing 3 to RHS, or x is equal to minus 7, required solution. Page 88. Check. LHS is equal to minus 2 multiplied by, within brackets, minus 7 plus 3, which is equal to minus 2 multiplied by minus 4, which is equal to 8, which is equal to RHS as required. 4.6 From Solution to Equation Atul always thinks differently. He looks at successive steps that one takes to solve an equation. He wonders, why not follow the reverse path? Equation to solution. Normal path. Solution to equation. Reverse path. He follows the path given below. Start with, x is equal to 5. Multiply both sides by 4. 4x is equal to 20. Subtract 3 from both sides. 4x minus 3 is equal to 17. This has resulted in an equation. If we follow the reverse path with each step, as shown on the right, we get the solution of the equation. 
try these. Start with the same step x is equal to 5 and make two different equations. Ask two of your classmates to solve the equations. Check whether they get the solution x is equal to 5. Hetal feels interested. She starts with the same first step and builds up another equation. x is equal to 5. Multiply both sides by 3. 3x three is equal to 15. Add 4 to both sides. 3x plus 4 is equal to 19. Start with y is equal to 4 and make two different equations. Ask three of your friends to do the same. Are their equations different from yours? Is it not nice that not only can you solve an equation, but you can make equations? Further, did you notice that given an equation, you get one solution, but given a solution, you can make many equations. Now, Sara wants the class to know what she is thinking. She says, I shall take Hethel's equation and put it into a statement form and that makes a puzzle. For example, think of a number, multiply it by 3 and add 4 to the product. Tell me the sum you get. If the sum is 19, the equation Hethel got will give us the solution to the puzzle. In fact, we know it is 5 because Hethel started with it. She turns to Appu, Amina and Sarita to check whether they made their puzzle this way. All three say yes. We now know how to create number puzzles and many other similar problems. Try these. Try to make two number puzzles, one with the solution 11 and another with 100. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India